This is a quick video explaining Git GC. So in Lua, there is garbage collection implemented for automatic memory management. This can help prevent things like memory leaks, which can be very bad. So in Synapse, there is a function called Git GC in Synapse API, which, as said in the Synapse documentation, will return all functions and user data in the garbage collection and will also return all tables if true is passed. This can be used to get functions and tables that scripts and game use. You can get functions, set up values and constants, set and get values and tables, and more with this. So in Roblox, I have a like uh, example test GUI right here which has an ammo count, a shoot button, and a reload button. So the reload button won't do anything now because the ammo is max, but if I shoot a couple times, you can see it'll shoot and it'll take one away from the ammo. And when we're at zero ammo and try to shoot, it'll tell me to reload. So then I can reload, put some ammo back, and I can use it just fine. So if I look with Dex at the script that is doing this, you can see at the very top, there is a table which has recoil, screen shake, max ammo, and current ammo. And also see that there is shoot, which is the button right here. Text button. Mouse button one click, which will decrease the current ammo of V1, which is this table up here at the top. And then reload, which will set it to its max ammo. So we're gonna use git gc to find this table and then set things like the current ammo and the max ammo. So I have signups open here and I'm going to get the garbage collection which I'll just call garbage by doing git gc true. True right here is very important because without it no tables. You won't get any tables from this. You'll just get functions and user data. So now we're going to loop through For I table next garbage do. Uh, okay. So now we're gonna check if this table right here is actually a table. And then we're gonna check if it has current ammo and max ammo. This right here will pretty much just make sure that we find the right table because there's going to be tons and tons of tables in here, but we want the one, this one, which has max ammo and current ammo. So now we're going to set that current ammo to math that huge. And then we're going to set max ammo to math that huge. So if we hide we note out the max ammo and just set the current ammo you can see what happens here so if I bring back my console here execute scripts you can see nothing appears to happen but when I shoot you see boom it makes my ammo infinite but if I were to reload it puts my ammo back to the max so we're gonna go back to synapse and we're gonna uncomment this max ammo which will set the max ammo to infinite as well. So now, you see if I shoot, boom, there's infinite ammo. But what happens if I reload? It's still infinite ammo. Alright, so I hope this helped you in understanding GitGC in case you're having troubles understanding it. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more uh, videos like these. And to comment below if you have any suggestions. See ya.